Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. We are currently waiting for the next Midnight Channel stuff. We have a camping trip first and some social links, which I'm falling behind on. Not entirely sure how that happened, but we're going to be deviating slightly from my previous walkthrough. Hey, Hello. Big bro. Hey, what's up? Why do people die? Is Nanako talking about her mother who died in an accident? Nanako is looking straight at you. This is a difficult question for a girl Nanako's age to understand, but with your level of expression, you were able to explain it to her. Alright, well let's go ahead and spend the evening with Nanako yeah. here, because this is a conversation that I want to have with my cousin? Is she my cousin? I'm not even sure how relationships work. You decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. Mm. I see. This is hard, but I get it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako is nodding her head cheerfully. Uh, you want to say, is there anything else? Well, well, um, oh, there is. Nanako's eyes are gleaming. What happens to a person when they die? Uh, they go to heaven. <laughs> so it is true. Mommy went to heaven. Nanako is smiling happily. Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I, I, I don't know. I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. Nanako looks relieved. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to Dad than I am? Uh, <laughs> he's protecting you. I don't get it. Nanako is thinking. It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness, sadness stoically. You feel that you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. She's like six, by the way. If she's in, ki if she was in kindergarten last year, she's either six or seven now. So she's really young. Let's talk about something else, big bro. You decided to talk about something different with the lonely-looking Nanako. Good night. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. We got some story and stuff for the next few days, oh. so buckle up. Good morning, Yukun. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke-kun know then. I am nervous about this. <laughs> Juness Grocery Department. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? No. No, what even? They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Ramen is easier. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. We have phones. Hmm. Hey, Chie. You use potato starch for curry, right? Do, do you guys not have a recipe? Of course you do. Otherwise the sauce wouldn't thicken. D do you not have a recipe? Does nobody have a cookbook in this game? Then we need potato starch and some flour too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. What? Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Um. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. Excuse me, what? How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. Kimchi and curry? There's two kinds though, black and white. Uh, when it comes to pepper, white is more spicy. Kiko, the Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Just in case what? Oh yeah, 
We'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. Excuse me, what? Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was um chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. I have no idea, but curry sometimes does have chocolate in it. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? In curry? Ooh, I love that stuff. No. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. Just one type of meat, please. Curry is not that hard to make. And actually, um, you can buy these Welcome little back. curry blocks that have like the sauce and you just follow directions while you add the vegetables and the meat. And you put these little curry blocks and it's usually like some water and milk, I think. And like that's that's curry. And it's really easy. And it would have been a hell of a lot cheaper than whatever the hell just happened. Like, seriously. I don't know what's happening. Let me in my room. I wanna die. So we are going to study at our desk today because we are a little running a little low on knowledge, I think. So um, let's go ahead and just study. I'm gonna click through this. We get knowledge, we get knowledge, and we get knowledge. Three boosts of knowledge, very nice. And off to camp we go. Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. This is gonna go as well as you think it is if you've never seen this. School camp at dusk. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. We're gonna die. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. I suddenly feel ill. Hey, what's the matter? Is it okay if I have yours? I can't wait to dig in. Having eat Yukiko's food already, I'm worried. Should we taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first. Why has it got purple? Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um... We put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. <laughs> oh, he died. Oh no. Hey! What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of. <laughs> Curry's supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty too. Grit gritty? It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it! Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. What? What did you put in it to make it slimy? It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Oh, God. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. You're being looked at with expectation. Okay, so if we try and eat it, we need courage. We don't have that courage. Um, we can decline to eat it or pretend to eat and discard it. Let's, uh, can we decline it? She and Yukiko are staring at you. It seems you have no choice but to eat it. The second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. Well, I died. What the heck? Oh, we're sorry. Sorry. 
What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I still don't understand why they can't eat the rice by itself. I'm still confused about that. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. Are those carrots? Just eat the carrots. Hanako. The the raw ones. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. That that's a diet. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people! Look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat! What? It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Great, we're all going to bed hungry. Not even gonna clean the dishes? What the hell? Like, at least dump it. Inside you and Yosuke's tent. Damn it. I'm so hungry. Wait, why is Kanji here? And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet. It's like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Uh, sure. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? Hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. There's a tent to keep you from doing that. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Like, we could have rearranged things. I've been in some cramped tents in my time. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Yeah. That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were aiding them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. 
Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Do y'all not pack snacks? Like, that's like the first Kanji, thing you do. Don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. Why, um, why aren't you all sleeping on your pillows? This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you? What? Yosuke. What? <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. No, it's not. You just accuse somebody of, like, just falsely accuse somebody of something. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well... How do I put it? Uh... Oh god, don't trail off like that! You're freaking me out! Why? I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? What? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. No, we're not. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm going to go hit the girls' tent right now. Uh. uh. Wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey, man, you got to stop him. Uh, don't, don't do this. You tried to convince Kanji not to go through with it. <laughs> but he's not listening. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait. What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. This is such a teenage thing to do, good grief. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside Chi and Yukiko's tent. Oh, now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh, we can't sleep, we can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... <sighs> that does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? Yes, yeah, suffocate her! No, 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 no! Yukiko, no! Oh, I can't take it anymore! <gasps> oh, who's there? Back at you and Yosuke's tent. Hey, are you guys still up? The hell? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. You didn't hit him? That's all. Right, Yukiko? <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not suspicious. So there was 
was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. You can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Um, we're here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. It seems that King Moron left. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Wh what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? There's so much room in this tent. Like, holy crap. What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. That's two. You set up a, barric a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spent the night cramped up in a tiny space. Last time I went camping, my husband was sleeping next to me in our tiny tent, and um, we were on a slope, and I got squashed against the tent wall. It was not fun. The next day, the students were all dismissed in the morning. We survived? We survived. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. Dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Excuse me, what? Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. Excuse me, what? They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> you know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Uh. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Y Yosuke, being a creeper. 
Oh, even Kanji's red. Stop staring like that. Hey. Uh, you two look cute. <laughs> where, where did that come from? They both seem embarrassed. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. Come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Yosuke, abort! Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, you have a point. You guys crossed the there, line. There is no good line, or no, nothing good to say here. Definitely. Bye. It's freezing! You, you, you didn't have to push us in! Who cares? You were going in the river anyway! They brought this on themselves! Sheesh! Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Kanji? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still Injuries. Uh What? Kanji has a nosebleed. Ew! <laughs> that was close. What, what was that for? I didn't do anything. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? You hear a man heaving upstream. It seems that King Moron is vomiting further up the river. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you feel clean. But anyway, we survived, so probably good. Oh, welcome home, big bro. All right. How was the school camp? It was, it was absolutely a thing that happened. And uh, I hope it never happens again. Thank you very much. I've only been to camp, like a camp once, but uh, yeah. All right, we got two crack wheat. I uh, kind of skipped over that. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's plant some cabbages. Yeah, we need to get those done so we can get um, one of the quests completed. So let's go ahead and just click through this. Um, I could fast forward, but honestly, it's not any faster. It's <laughs> just clicking. So, And that crack wheat, if we take a quick look at that, uh, let's see if I can't find it in here. Um, crack wheat here opens a locked treasure box. So it's basically a treasure key, like one of those old keys, because we have a bunch of those too. Um, but yeah, you can use that instead. I don't even know where the keys are in here, to be honest. Moving on. You're exhausted from the school camp. You should go back to your room and rest. You have the day off from school today. You wonder when it will rain at night again. What should you do? Well, we're gonna start by, um, you, uh, yeah, that. We're gonna buy some stuff. So let's go ahead and watch the shopping program. I'm just gonna click through this real quick here. We have two different boxes. We have the power belt and two herbal pills, or we have the huge fish combo with ice cubes. And we're gonna go ahead and buy the huge fish combo. All right, with all that, that's all done there. Let's go ahead and um, let's go see. I think Nanako always says the same thing, but I, wanna, I always want to double check because, you know. Yeah, she has nothing new to say. Let's go ahead and head outside the house. And there should be, yeah, there's the lady here who sells seedlings. So she's got wheat seedlings, which I'm gonna go ahead and buy. And I'm also going to purchase the tomato seedlings. I probably won't end up like actually using all of those, but I think that's okay, <laughs> personally. They're not very expensive, so whatever. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna hang out with 
uh, Marie today. So let's go ahead and talk huh? to her. So she wants to go out. Where are we? Where are we going today? Let's go. I want to go to the big city this time. I heard there was a bunch of things to do there, so take me. The closest thing to a big city near Inaba is Okina City. You decide to take Marie to Okina City. Okina City out in front of Okina Station. We brought Marie here by train to satisfy her curiosity. Oh. So this is the city. Hmm. Weird. It's a funny place, wide yet narrow. It's gray and full of squares. Hey, what do you do in the city? Uh, anything here? I'm gonna say, uh, play around. Oh. Hmm. Do you play a lot? Then you must be a playboy. So that's why you only come to see me once in a while, huh? You suck. I hate you, loser. Why don't you think about me sometime, huh? I just stand there waiting. Hurry, pouts. Oh, you can date her too. I don't think I mentioned this in the last one. I've never dated her before. Huh? Huh, you could? Oh, and Marie Chan. Hello, um, is she your friend? Oh, that's right, you haven't met her before, huh? She's Marie Chan, I had lunch with her once. Oh yeah, this is Yukiko Amagi, she's our friend. Friend. If she's someone you know, then she must not be from around here, right? Did she come from the big city? Ah, I get it, so that's why you're here in Okina City, huh? There's diddly squat to do around where we live, right? Yeah, I know. And a black one today. What are green and black doing here? Green and black. Green and black. Ah ha ha. I was wearing green last time I saw you, wasn't I? Hmm. I don't always wear black. I didn't say it was bad. You look good in those colors. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. I didn't think it was a compliment. She's a nice girl. There's no doubt about that. But black girls dress so plain. Does green girl always wear the same thing all the time? To the point as ever. But she's right. Nope. No, that's not what I meant. It's just, it's a waste. Humans can change their clothes, right? You should try wearing other colors. Is that so? I don't really pick out my own outfits. I know. We were just on our way to get us some new clothes. Why don't you come with us, Yukun? You too, Marie-chan. Chie, they might already have plans of their own. Don't just assume they can come along at a moment's notice. Uh, if you want to. Huh? I don't mind. All right then, let's get going. I like how they flank her. <laughs> Okina Station, Croco Fur. Chie and Kiko are having fun while looking for clothes. Come on! Hey, how's this shirt? Don't you think it's a good color? Chie is holding a green shirt. Um, that's green, you know. Yeah, it is. Huh? Whoa, you're right. Why do I keep buying myself green clothes? Rechan, what's your favorite color? Don't tell me. Blue, right? Or I don't really have one. Hey. What do you think of this skirt? Is it too mature for me? Yukiko has a jet black skirt in her hands. Um, that's an eye-catching color. It is eye-catchingly black. I see, so wearing a single color isn't in. I like to keep things simple. Yes! Aw, oh, thank you. I'll keep exploring. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Thank you. I'll keep exploring. Away with simplicity. Oh, well, okay. Oh! What about this? Does this say me? Green again? Hey! How about this one? Away with simplicity. There's too many colors. I'm getting dizzy. This skirt's cute. It would go with... How's this? GA selects a yellow shirt and a blue skirt. At least it's not green. Wait, but yellow and blue make green, right? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Maybe it's some kind of instinct. You're not doing it on purpose? Yukiko finish their shopping and return to the station with you. Why were they only out of the stuff in my size? It can't be helped. Let's go back sometime later. They might have some new inventory by then. Why don't we all go together then, the four of us? Uh, if you want to. Tell talking to Marie here. 
Why? Huh? Me too. Why? Huh? Or why? Because we're friends. Really? Friends we are? Since when? Wait, didn't you have fun? Was I bothering you today and last time too? Huh? No, you weren't bothering me. I was just asking about why you said friends. What does it mean to become friends? Marie has questions. Hmm. Well, I don't really know. The meaning of friendship. Hmm. Uh, there's meaning. <clears throat> yes, I believe there is meaning. There are things you can't do by yourself that you can do together with others. Like today, we had you help us choose our clothes. I don't get it, after all. I almost forgot there's a DVD I wanted. Let's hurry, it'll sell out. It's a kung fu movie, right? I doubt it will sell out. Enough talk. Come on, everybody, hustle. Huh? Me too? Um, you want to say, let's hurry. I don't, I don't get, get it. it. It's not like I don't want to go, though. Marie seems perplexed, but not against the idea. Hey. Hey, those two are Persona users, right? They're chasing after the truth with you, huh? You can't do that on your own, but you can do it together because you're friends? It seems Marie is wondering about what Yukiko said. You feel like you understand Marie a bit more now. We are- we're barely cracking the surface of her social link. We're only on rank three. Hey, pick it up, you two! Move, move, move! We all have to have that one brooding friend that we just want to look after. <laughs> after looking around Okina City with everyone, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Oh god, am I that one brooding friend? Moving on. The three of you are sitting at the table. An entertainment news show is on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. So I just want to point this out. It was really hard to see this in the original because it was pixelated due to the fact that it was on the Vita. But you can actually see how poorly um, Risei is like shoved in on this little tiny screen. Like she stands out so much because she doesn't look like she's part of the rest of the picture. We're short on time. So if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! The press conference has erupted into chaos. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Moving on. <laughs> Yo! Yo, senpai! Oh, sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh yeah, the shopping district seemed different today when I was passing by. Like everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, I smell a case behind it. Smell? Man, you're sounding like Teddy. It didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. I guess I'll try asking around at school. Yo. Hey, there he is! You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, 
Oh, that stuff about Rise Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Hmm, is Rise that popular? Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! What was that? What? A cutie pie? What are you, 80? Thank you, Chie. But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? Uh, can I meet her too? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. Right. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> all right, that's the end of the proof and the end of the chapter, too. So I've heard all the gossip going around about Rise Kujikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They'll have money, and they'll never have to compromise in marriage. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? But you know, June is bonus month. That's why I'm a little bit happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Me Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Nara Kamikun. You're looking bored. What period did Japan first implement bonus play? Bonus pay. Uh, Meiji. Oh, so you were listening, that's correct. Japan began issuing bonuses during the Meiji period. It's a wonderful culture, it's the joy in labor. So you're all ignoring me thinking how, <laughs> thinking I'm just chit-chatting, eh? Well, now this is gonna be on the test. Okay, well anyway, our knowledge increased. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> so recall how we talked to Ai about skipping class? Oh, it's you. Hey. hey, you want to ditch class? Don't worry, we'll be back before the last bell. Uh, sure. <laughs> really? Alright, then meet me at the shoe lockers. You accepted Aya's invitation and decided to skip afternoon classes. You have to do this at some point in time to get her social link, so we're just gonna do it. And it doesn't hurt you any, so it's fine. Okina City in front of Okina Station. I has dragged you here. Mmm, <laughs> feels so good. Just knowing everyone else is still stuck at school studying makes it feel great to be out here. Uh, it's okay every once in a while. You think so? I'm surprised you're so open-minded. I had you pegged for a mama's boy. It's not like I do this all the time. Besides, since they started keeping track of my attendance and behavior record, I've been a good girl. Well, enough small talk, let's go. We'll start with clothes, then we'll hit jewelry and shoes and maybe some cell phone stuff if there's enough time. I only seems to be concerned about her own shopping. All right, you might as well just go along of with it. Of course. Of course you will. Why else would you be here? Anyway, time's a wasting.
Holy crap. <laughs> it's nice to have a personal servant. I can buy so much more this way. I paid for everything with a gold card. Uh, so I got money to burn. Well, I guess you could call my family new money. We may not have status or history, but we do have money. My daddy made a fortune in land speculation. We better get going though, or we won't make it back before class ends. Soon as school gets out, I'm number one on the guidance counselor's list. He has to check on my attendance and behavior and sometimes he tops it off with a lecture. It's a major pain. But I'm out here having fun and all the teachers are totally clueless. How stupid can they be? You know what though? I had more fun today than usual. You're different from the others. I like you. I think I'll keep you around, but next time let's go after school. You have become acquaintances with the sports team manager, I Yabihara. You feel a faint bond forming. So I is complicated. I actually had a few fairly rich friends in college and I have to say that they're okay if they have been taught how to handle money and like how not to be snobby little shits. But there are quite a few people that I've met in, that have money that are just snobby little shits and a lot of them burn through their money pretty quick. Are you coming or maybe you'd like to be a blip on the guidance counselor's radar yourself? See ya. You returned to school with I and snuck into your class. I did not have any rich friends when I was growing up because I lived in a poor area. So we, we didn't, we just, we didn't. There was, yeah, people who thought they were rich in high school had no idea what money was, to be completely honest with you. Oh my god. Anyway, moving on. Um, we have, like, a ton of stuff to do because we're going to be doing going into story. So I don't want to go any further today because as soon as we start launching into that, there's no stopping it until the game lets us go. So uh, next time, we're going to be spying on Risei Kujikawa and getting on with her story arc. So I will see you guys next time. Also, does this poster not look like somebody's being abducted or something? What is this poster? 